pull out your grammar examiner. <laughs> Now, everybody, what do you question? I question. What do you question? Natty, what do you question? I question of. Um, I okay. believe of is a preposition. Okay, if it's a I preposition, we should be able to prove that. Yes. So, oh, we've already got some proof here. So, Amanda found it on page 29 in the preposition song. If it's a preposition, what will it be doing in our sentence? What else does a prepositional phrase have in it besides a preposition? Um, a noun. It has a noun or pronoun and possibly adjectives. Does this, does this fit? Yes. That scenario? Could our prepositional phrase be of pencils? Yes. Okay. Would you go change of? Um, I think that makes perfect sense. We not only found it on a list, but it also makes sense within the sentence. I question when. Okay. And what are you thinking about it? Pronoun. It says when for interrogative. Interrogative? Yeah. Interrogative. Okay. So what is an interrogative pronoun doing? Asking a question. Okay. Is this word here asking a question? Oh, yeah. saying it no. Not asking a question. Okay. Conjunction. A conjunction? <laughs> Oh, it's subordinated. Oh, we've got two people that found it on the subordinated conjunction list. Now, does yeah. that make sense? Subordinated. A verb didn't subordinated. make sense being the first one and we're not asking a question. But does a conjunction make sense coming first in the sentence? What does a subordinate conjunction do? It makes complex sentences. What is a complex sentence made up of? Two sentences smushed together. Right, two clauses that are joined, right? Two, two clauses. So a complex is either going to be independent clause first and dependent, or dependent clause first and independent second. But the conjunction is at the beginning. So that one is part of which of the clauses? Dependent or independent? Dependent. So could we have the dependent clause first? Yeah. And where would it be? When she can clean her desk. How do you know it stops at desk? Because there's a comma. Just like in right here, right? So this is definitely a conjunction. Nice. And a plus you want to come up and mark it since you identified it and nicely. It's a, and it's a complex DI sentence. Now we kind of know already what we're going to be putting down there in the bottom row. Independent. Okay. Yeah. Tegan is a noun. She is a, who can tell me? What kind of noun? A person. She's a person. She's proper. a proper noun. PN. She's a singular person. noun. A human. And she is concrete. Oh, I'm concrete. Okay. You're concrete. Cleaned is a verb. Action or linking. I'm a statue. Action. Um, her is a pronoun. What kind of pronoun? A pronoun. I'm trying to think what kind of pronoun. Subject. Yes. Oh, I guess it is an object pronoun. But I don't know if it is in here. What is in here talking about? Uh, uh, right. It's talking about a desk that belongs to her. So we would call it possessive pronoun. Desk is a noun. What kind of noun is it? What can you tell me about the noun desk? What are the things you can tell me? It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a concrete noun. Singular. Singular. And the last one, proper or common? Common. 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 Okay. It's not so good. now we have a pronoun. Now what kind of pronoun is this? Subject, Subject pronoun. Um, and look, it comes right in front of a verb, right? Action verb or linking verb? Action. 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 We have an adjective. Article. 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 Definite or indefinite? Indefinite. Excellent. Prodigious is an adjective. How many of you know the meaning of the word prodigious? Oh, it's a like, lot. Oh, it's a like lot. Oh, a big. Because of the way it's used in the sentence, are you big. figuring that out, or did you already know the word? Uh, I didn't know because of the sentence. Because of the sentence, okay. Because oftentimes yeah. we use the sentence to help us understand words. A big amount. Uh huh. And then amount is a noun. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Sometimes people miss this one. Um, it is a noun I because we have all these adjectives. This one announcing the noun. I just randomly guessed. Well, pop, pop. it was a randomly good guess. Um, <laughs> and we have adjectives modifying the noun, and then we have a preposition in the noun. 
So these wouldn't be working towards this one. It's not a prodigious pencil. It's a prodigious amount. Of That's pencils. prodigious. So very nicely done. A pencil. So let's go on to the next level. We need subject and predicate identified. So isn't it easier to find? It's always a verb. It's always a verb. Find oh. the verb, you found the predicate. Can I go again? No. Well, oh, there it is. You found, found. Now, where do we usually find the subject? In front of the verb. In front of the verb, unless we're asking a question and then the verb is first. Who or what is it all about in this clause? The pencil. So, not teeing it. The and who or what pencil. is it all about in this one? The pencil. She. She. And we're still referring to Tegan, of course. But pencil. there's no need to re ha repeat her name, right? That's what pronouns do. They take the place, when so we don't have to Tegan constantly Tegan use the same Tegan noun. Tegan found we have to look to see if there's more parts of the sentence. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, kind of a verb do we have here? Action verb. Action. So what are we going to look for? Direct action. object. Okay, excellent. We're going to look for direct object. She cleaned um, what? what? She cleaned her yes, dance. the question we yes. want to ask ourselves. Raise your hand if you know the question you should be asking yourself to find a direct object. It still isn't everybody. We need to have everybody know that question. Okay? What's the question? Yeah? When Tegan cleaned what? Oh, right. I was right. Tegan clean what? And we are looking for a clear answer to that. And what's the clear answer to that, Alex? Her desk. There's our direct object. Okay? It clearly answers what she cleaned. Correct? Yes. Not where, but what. Okay. And now, if we have a direct object, we look for an indirect object. And if there is one, it'll be in front of the direct object. Uh, no, we just have a pronoun there, and it's a possessive, so it would not be an indirect object. Okay, over here we have to look to see if we have something. What kind of verb was it? Um, action, action verb. Action verb. Yeah. And when we're action verb, what are we looking for, CD? Um, direct object. And what's the question we're going to ask? She found what? Excellent. Um, is there a clear answer to that? Yeah. What's the clear answer to that? She found what? Roman? A prodigious amount of pencils. Okay. Who spots some phrases? M? Who spots some phrases? There's only one. Is there only one? How do you know there's only one? Because there's only one preposition. Excellent. Only one preposition. <coughs> Emma, do you remember what the structure is? Complex ID. Okay, which one's first? The independent or the dependent? Landon, where is this clause going to end? Um, at the comma? It starts right here. Yep, read it. When Tegan cleaned her desk. That's right. When Tegan cleaned her desk. And is that a sentence on its own? No. No, it is dependent. It leaves us hanging a bit. When Tegan cleaned her desk. I mean, who knows? We all know all the different scenarios that could happen after that. Oh. So, that leaves us hanging. That is our dependent clause. And the comma. And then, also, we have the comma. So, what is the independent clause? Read it. Tegan? Um, she found a prodigious amount of pencils. Okay. A prodigious amount of pencils. There's our independent clause because it could certainly be a sentence without any other help. She found a prodigious amount of pencils. Could we reverse the order? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess we have to go back down here and put oh, the yeah. D comma I. Oh, she found a prodigious amount of pencils. And she it makes perfect yeah, sense, makes right? Sense. Last thing is what kind of sentence is it? What type? What are the four types of sentence? What type is it? Um, Exclamatory. exclamatory. Now who's going to read it like an exclamatory sentence should be read? When Tegan cleaned her desk, she found a prodigious amount of pencils. Good. I always thought you were going to explode. Tegan. <laughs> when Tegan cleaned her desk, she found a prodigious amount of pencils. Okay. When Tegan cleaned her desk, she found a prodigious amount of pencils. Oh no. <laughs>